President Trump sighs has some bad news to give Mayor de Blasio about his sanctuary city. It would appear that we have something of a civil war in progress in America. So far, however, only government forces are involved. This is seen in the battle between federal law enforcement, represented by Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, on one side, and various local jurisdictions on the other side. It has manifested itself in a battle by those local jurisdictions to prevent ICE from enforcing federal law by removing illegal immigrants from their cities. This is the familiar sanctuary city dispute. The extent to which those jurisdictions, overwhelmingly led by leftists, are willing to go to protect illegals from deportation is a measure of the danger their actions present to the people they were elected to serve. For example, Refusing to notify ICE when a dangerous criminal who is an illegal is released places that person on the streets of the city instead of in custody by ICE. Yet, despite obstruction from the New York City police, ICE arrested three illegal aliens even though the police had already released them from jail. In other words, President Trump is doing more to defend the citizens of New York City than its mayor and other city officials. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE. Enforcement and Removal Operations ERO, officers busted three criminal illegal aliens that law enforcement officials in Sanctuary New York City released after ignoring immigration detainers. Here are some excerpts describing these three and some of the offenses committed. Why would any competent administration want these guys roaming the streets? Garcia Taveras has multiple felony drug convictions including one for felony criminal possession of a controlled substance and felony attempted criminal possession of a controlled substance. He was deported to the Dominican Republic in 2004 and 2008. He illegally re-entered the country and in 2005, night officers arrested the Dominican national for a crime he allegedly committed locally. ICE officers later arrested Garcia Taveras convicted him on federal re-entry after deportation charges. Immigration officials deported the criminal alien again after he served 30 months in federal prison. The night arrested another criminal illegal alien, a 37-year-old Ecuadorian national, on September 24 in Queens, New York. Euro deportation officers filed an immigration detainer on Rafael Tenez Burracho with the night, but they released him without ICE being notified. Night officers arrested a Mexican national. 26-year-old Francisco Morales Ariza, on September 19. Euro officers filed an immigration detainer, but night officials released Morales Ariza without notifying ICE. Euro deportation officers arrested him on October 18 on immigration charges when they found him in Manhattan. He is in detention waiting for his immigration hearing. The tragedy is that ICE officers are subjected to additional and unnecessary risks because they must track these criminals down instead of taking custody of them while in jail. This is directly the result of the refusal of sanctuary city leaders to comply with legitimate federal law. The field director for Euro in New York released a statement that said, ICE is committed to promoting public safety even when facing significant obstacles created by local elected officials' obstructionist policies. He added, every day, our officers put their lives on the line to arrest criminal aliens who could have easily been transferred to ICE custody within the confines of a secure jail environment. If so-called leaders such as Mayor Bill de Blasio of New York City wish to turn their cities into third-world cesspits of crime, they could at least have the courtesy of so advising their residents. That way the people can make plans to either move or vote out such corrupt leadership. In the meantime, ICE is empowered by the Trump administration, remains the real friend of the peaceful citizens of New York and other sanctuary cities.